Our plans for today are to take the boat pulled by the mule on one of the canals and also to ride bikes along the canal towway and stop in and look at a few quaint historic towns located all along the tow path. Uh, we have another mule over in the corral. His name is Mo. He is 45 years old. And uh, he still pulls too. And uh, can anybody here tell me what is a mule? What makes a mule? That's right. Okay, so if it's a mule, which one is mother? Horse or donkey? Horse, yes. If the donkey's a mother, it's called a henny. A henny. And we have large mules because our the mothers of our mules are those big draft horse, you know, beer wagon horses. That's why our mules are so large. Uh, we have the silica sand plants, a lot of glass left here, bottles and all kinds of stuff. We made tons of marbles that we all over the country. Um, the buildings in Chicago, the limestone buildings and all those bricks made out here. We got the great clay beds for making bricks and the limestone pits. So a lot of things left this area as well as grain and stuff from here. Before that they couldn't really ship it anywhere. So it really helped build Chicago. At a stroke, the opening of the Illinois and Michigan Canal in 1848 made Chicago and Northern Illinois the key crossroads of the American mid-continent. Hey, we're riding along the I&M Canal Trail. Pretty awesome today. Weather's great, we got an early start. The bikes are working. Lots of people travel along here. We only visited a few of the things that you can do here. A good four days could easily be filled exploring this area of the country. That Illinois is now the most populous inland American state and Chicago, the greatest city of the American heartland, is directly traceable to the 96 mile canal that linked the Great Lakes to the Illinois and Mississippi rivers.